Welcome to section 6 of this course, Scheduling an AWS Lambda. In this section, you will learn how to schedule AWS Lambda to execute periodically some given time. Also, you will learn how to create an incoming webhook in the Slack application that we have created many videos ago, so messages can arrive to Slack without the user triggering these messages. At the end of this section, you are going to do one exercise all by yourself, try all the knowledge you have learned during this course, and we are also wrapping up all the concepts we learned during this course. In this video, we will take a look at why you would like to schedule a lambda to execute, how you will schedule a lambda to run in a certain frequency, and also how to set it up using serverless framework. You will see how easy it is. So why we want to schedule a Lambda? In my opinion, one of AWS Lambda greatest capabilities is the capability to execute when it's triggered. And there are so many kinds of different triggers. Time can be a trigger. There are so many good use cases that can be solved by having a function executing in a given frequency. For example, if you use serverless for managing your IT infrastructure and you want to make sure that all your test instances are turned off after 6 p.m., when everybody goes home, you can set up one of these scheduled lambdas that will execute at this time every day and turn off the instances. And you can also have another lambda that executes before everybody arrives to the office and turns on all the instances. So AWS Lambda can be triggered with time. You can create a lambda function that executes on a regular schedule. You can specify a fixed rate, for example, every 15 minutes, every hour, every day, or you can specify a cron expression. A cron expression can be something like run a task every day at 10 p.m. or execute every Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. So for example, here is an example of how you define a cron expression. You put the minutes, the hour, the day of the month, the month, the day of the week and the year, and you can have some different wildcards to set up this. So, for example, at minute zero, at 17 hours, doesn't matter the month of the day, it doesn't matter the month, execute from Monday to Friday during all year round. And that's how we build a cron expression. You can find more of this in the AWS documentation. If you want to schedule an AWS Lambda with serverless framework, it's very easy. We can just create a new Lambda, like we did with the API Gateway ones. For example, in this case, one called pending. We have a handler, handler.pending, that will be the JavaScript code attached to it. And then we can have events. And when we have an event, we can just put a schedule, and then we put the rate, for example, two hours. Or then we can have a schedule, and we put the cron expression. You can also enable or disable the scheduling by setting the enable property in the event, true or false. By default, if you don't set up anything, the events are enabled. You can find more information at the serverless framework documentation. So now let's go to the code and see how we can do this in our lab. We are going to set up a task that will execute every hour or every minute and it will print in the console hello world. Let's open our project from the serverless YAML and let's create a new function. I will call this function a Slack Publisher because this is the function we will use later in the next video to publish messages to Slack. So I will create a new handler method in the same handler file, and it will call Slack Publisher, the handler method. And then we will have one event that it, we can call it with a schedule, because it's a schedule event, and it will be a rate schedule in a rate of one hour, for example. But maybe for testing, we don't want to do one hour rate, because it will be very bored looking at the screen. So let's do it like one minute for the sake of testing. I also will put the enable property because I want it to be true or false and I will disable it later. So I will put it one minute and now we go to our handler file handler.js and we will create this method. This method is going to be very straightforward. It will just print in the console one message. In the next video, we are going to do something more with this method. But for now, let's just print in the console. So this will print Slack Publisher 
as called and then we just return a callback with no no meaning that just return then after this we can just deploy as always i will speed this up for you because it takes a while and after it's deployed we can see what happens when the service is deployed we can see that we have a new function called slack publisher and we can go to our aws account make sure you're in the right region and we go to Lambda, and there we will see the new Lambda that was created in the Slack publisher. And then if we go to monitoring, we can see that there is one execution. It's been invocated once. If we want to check the logs, we can do that from serverless framework from the console. So we just do SLS logs minus F Slack publisher, and we can also tail them. So the logs keep on coming when there's new logs. And you see that now one minute has gone and then the lambda was invocated again. So if we refresh our monitoring, we'll see that it was called two times. And if we keep on waiting, we will see that this lambda gets called many times. If you're stopping working here, I recommend you that you go to your code, disable the endpoint, deploy and then Next time you come back to this exercise, you enable it again. Just for not leaving this Lambda running forever, because you might forget about it, and this will continue running every one minute. To disable, just go to the serverless YAML, change enable to disable, deploy, and then you can see that the task is not running anymore.